My friends, what was it Maxwell Smart said on uh, Get Smart? Didn't he say something like, Missed it by that much, Chief. That's what we did. We missed it by that much. But we know what it is now for sure, and I'll explain that. I'll also show you the status on the guitar, and I got a couple other news items that you'll be interested in. Not necessarily good. We'll do all that right after this. My friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa String Works Workshop. It is Wednesday, January 25th. We had our jam last night at Dickie's Barbecue, but it was not very well attended at all. We had two listeners. <laughs> Four out of five people in the band were there. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Beverly didn't make it, but uh, really the weather was just fine. We didn't have any problems coming or going. But it did snow overnight and the ground is covered in, a, oh, I'd say two or three inches of snow anyway. Fortunately, I did go out and get that extra wood that I had cut. Before I started burning it, I had two and a half loads of wood. I've already burned a good half load, <laughs> so I've got about two loads left. Yeah, it's uh, amazing how much wood I burn. Yeah, can't even explain it. Well, I mentioned I made a little progress on this guitar, and I sure did. You know, this little uh, stretcher apparatus was a uh, stroke of genius, if I do say so myself. Now, I've known about stretching things like that before, but uh, I reached in here through the sound hole and pushed on the back of this, and I could not move it more than, than about a millimeter, about 40 thousandths of an inch is about all I could move it by hand, and it needed to go about 200 thousandths. So it needed to go about five millimeters. That little stretcher there, you know, and letting it sit overnight uh, seemed to relax it a little bit, and I was able to stretch it that last couple of millimeters. So it stretched, and we glued it up, and uh, it's been sitting overnight. I'll take those clamps off on the actual video that you'll see coming down the road. But I think it's in real good shape. As I alluded to in the intro, we missed it by that much, Chief. Yeah, this thing, it's not a clayster, it's not a syringe. Most of you will go, huh, when I tell you, it's a dime bank. It's actually for holding dimes, no kidding. That's what the measurements are for. A dollar, dollar fifty, two dollars, two fifty, you know, so forth up to five dollars worth of dimes. And you think, that's a weird looking thing for holding dimes, but that's what it is. We found an advertisement, it actually pretty much shows the same thing. It's a slightly bit different, but it, uh, you know, has the actual address that's printed on the back of this. I told you it was 227 Broadway, New York. Well, in the ad, it actually has that address showing this. So, now I'm 100% sure we know what it is. It's a dime bank. So here's some pictures to let you be convinced as well. Well, hope you enjoyed taking a look at that, and uh, you know, uh, I'm glad I left the door open, because as you will recall in the previous video, I said, well, I'm about 90% convinced that's what it is, you know, but I said a couple things still don't make sense, like why that end's not open, you know? And the point is, we were wrong, <laughs> but I'm sure glad we got some good viewers out there, and, and as you saw, I put the names of the viewers that told us all about this on the screen with their photos. So thank you to you guys for correcting me and pointing me in the right direction. Uh, you know, I still think it's kind of funny that they put this little end on here. I believe that end, you know, was a little tiny rivet on the end. That's why it doesn't open. And I think that little rivet held on a decorative top or something like that. And, you know, it's just one of them deals that they did back in the Victorian days. Like make a dime bank. <laughs> why would you need a dime bank? I don't know, but they apparently thought they did. And patents were applied for according to the back of this also. Anyway, that's about it on the uh, two main items. Uh, unfortunately, the next item is not as pleasant for me and therefore probably won't be as pleasant for you. 
Emery told me yesterday she's going to quit working and uh, she's going to, uh, I think, work a little bit throughout the rest of this month and then uh, I'm on my own again. That's good and bad. Uh, you know, it's good in that uh, I'm slowing the business down and, you know, that's just one less thing. But on the other hand, there's a lot going on here with videos and the office work and the uh, bills to pay and et cetera and so forth and invoices to make up. And, and you might say, well, just get more help. Yeah, I'm in the middle of nowhere. I mean, to any population center, it's at least 18 to 20 miles. And finding anybody between here and there is slim to zero <laughs> on the odds. I'm not saying it won't happen because I've gotten lucky twice, but uh, I would say the odds are slim to zero. So uh, that means everything's going to change on this, and I don't know how it's going to change. I already told you I was trying to slow it down a little bit anyway so I could get caught up on farm chores. That kind of compounds the problem. It makes it sound like that would be easier, but actually it makes it more difficult because now I have to do it all. <laughs> oh well, stuff happens. You get what you get and you don't throw fit. So there you go. And in other news, I hope you'll attend this Friday Shop Talk because I have a special little treat for you on this Friday Shop Talk. I'll just give you a clue. It revolves around the farm again, more than it does about music. For those of you who have been following along for quite a long time, it'll give you a totally different perspective on some of the things that you see here on the farm. And I really hope It'll pique your interest enough that you'll want to tune in and take a look at that because there are things on there that you kind of are a little bit of a head scratcher. <laughs> and we'll show it to you on Friday during the shop talk. Well, that's going to be about it for today, keeping it short so I can get something done. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, yeah.